Ozark Overland Adventures is proudly supported by The More Expo, the Midwest's only indoor event for adventure travel enthusiasts. Artemis Overland Hardware. They have the passion and knowledge to ensure that your next outdoor experience is more than a camping trip, it's an adventure. And the Big Iron Overland Rally, a three-day weekend camp out and concert experience at the Big Brutus Historic Landmark. Hey everyone, I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures and you may be familiar with something like this. It's an ice chest. This happens to be mine and it's, it's great for you know, day trips and you know, going out to the lake or, or to the river or fishing or, or whatever. Um, it's, it's really handy. It'll hold a couple dozen cans with enough ice or less cans with food and whatnot, but it's great. It also costs $299. Using this can also make your food a soggy mess. And if you're not careful and it tips over, it can also leak water all over your rig. Neither one of those is cool. I have not missed using an actual ice chest in over three years since I got my first fridge, the Dometic CFX50. By the way, if anybody wants to buy this from me, let me know in the comments, because it's for sale, because we don't use it anymore. And this is a Dometic CFX355 AM. It's awesome for long-term trips, multiple days, long weekends with the family. We've taken this to Colorado for 10 days and kept all of our food nice and cold, our drinks cold. It's awesome for long-term trips or weekends with the whole family. You can put everything in here, but it's a little overkill if it's just me, even for, even for a weekend. This takes up a lot of room in the back of my Jeep. It also costs anywhere from $1,000 to $1,200, depending on where you can find it on sale. If it's just me going out, that's a bit overkill. So if you're like me and you like to go out on day trips or weekend trips by yourself, overnight trips with just you and your spouse or maybe a kid, I think this right here is the perfect solution. I've had this for about a month now I've been using it on a couple different trips and I call it my one fridge because it's perfect for one person, maybe for one night or for one weekend. I love this little guy. Now I'll be honest, when I got this, I thought, okay, this has got to be a joke. This thing cannot be practical. And oh, was I wrong. This is the 12 liter fridge by Joy Tutus, J-O-Y-T-U-T-U-S. Joy Tutus. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. It's kind of fun to say, Joy Tutus. But honestly, it's perfect. It's a great little fridge and it fits you know, in the front seat. It fits easily in the back seat, slides in the back of my Jeep with all my stuff. I use this on my trip to uh, Big Brutus and checking out where the Big Iron Overland Rally is going to be coming up in May. You need to check that out. Um, and this thing was awesome. I had a six pack of Cokes in here. I had bacon and eggs and mustard and mayonnaise and lunch meat, everything I was going to need for the evening dinner and snacks and breakfast the next day and lunch the next day. It was perfect. And the best part about it is it's only $180. So less than the high end ice chest that will barely hold this much with all the ice you have to put in there to keep your stuff closed. And this will not only work as a fridge, but you can take it down to zero degrees and use it as a freezer if you need to. That's fantastic. So if you're like me and you have you know, a Dometic CFX50 and you don't have a freezer, but maybe you need a freezer for something, maybe you're going on a longer trip. I mean, with the size of this thing, you can use your Dometic or you know your other big fridge in the back of your rig and throw this in the back there too to keep stuff frozen. How incredible is that? So how much is 12 liters actually practical for? Well, right now I've got it filled up with 13, 13 cans and there's still room for, for more. I could fit 15 cans in here easily. I could probably squeeze a couple more in there, but plenty of drinks for you know a day out fishing or, or, you know, or taking it hunting or just on a day trip, whatever. Um, but take some of the cans out. You've got room for, for your lunch meat, sandwiches to keep cold. Um, 
condiments, all kinds of things. This honestly is the perfect little fridge. I think it's well designed. I mean, it's it's plastic. It's you're not going to drop it off a, a cliff or you know roll your Jeep and this survive probably, but it does great. It doesn't draw a lot of power. It's actually on right now. Um, I've got it plugged into the Jackery 1000, and it's pulling 30 watts. Not bad at all. Because the compressor's on, we'll be putting these these drinks in there. Um, it's got a great little super simple display where you can change the temperature up and down. It's very just touch sensitive. Currently got it set on 33 degrees. It's got two modes. It's got a max mode, which it's in right now um, to get these drinks cool real fast. And it's got an eco mode. So it lowers the compressor a little bit and doesn't, you know, chill things off super quick. So once you've got everything chilled out, throw it into eco mode. I actually put this in the back of my rig uh, for the big Brutus trip. I had it plugged into a little 500 watt power station and just let it run. And it didn't die until late Sunday night. So four, over four days running off of a 500 watt battery uh, power station. That's pretty awesome. Um, I mean, it's, it's super simple. I absolutely love this thing. And for 180 bucks, it's perfect. Inside is quite simple. There is a nice rubber seal. So once you've got everything chilled down, you're not gonna lose your temperature. It does have a nice rubber seal. Um, it's got your, your specs here. Uh, there's no basket or anything, because honestly, it, it doesn't need one. It's just small enough to hold your stuff and easily get to it. The lid has a nice little seal to it and you're not going to accidentally pop it open. Um, so it's fantastic. It's got two, two carrying handles here so you can move it around. It does have three voltage protections. You've got a high, medium, low. So depending upon the battery in your rig, you could set it at whatever, you know, voltage cutoff you want. And so this will protect your starter battery if that's all you're running just like i am in my jeep i only have a single battery in there so when i've got it plugged in there i do want to make sure that this does not drain my battery but with as little power as this little guy draws i don't think that's going to be an issue unless you're going to be parked for days this is a brand new frids the link just hit amazon the link is in the description below seriously if you if you think carrying your big fridge is just too much for a day um if you want something smaller, if you don't have a fridge and you're tired of dealing with ice and you just go out for day trips or, you know, hunting and fishing, that sort of thing, give this guy a serious look. It does have a two year warranty, which I think is actually pretty awesome for a fridge in this seriously budget category. And I love it. So let me know in the comments, what do you think about this little guy? I love the fact that they're offering little sizes like this. I mean, we're so used to the 45 liters, the 55 liters, the 65, 75 dual zones. So the fact that they're coming out with little 12 liter fridge freezers like this, I think is absolutely fantastic. I think it fills a niche that so far hadn't been addressed. Let me know in the comments what you think. I really like it. And I'm gonna use the heck out of this thing for my day trips and my, my solo weekend trips. Um, I'm super pumped about this. If, if this was helpful to you, um, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more reviews and stuff coming. I love doing these. I get lots of comments saying how helpful these are. So if you're like me, you want to do a lot of research before you're you know, spending the type of money on some of this gear that we do. And so I hope these are helpful. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Have a great day. Bye.